Well, actually, when we were down there in Morocco filming the Bible series, we were having such a great time, and we really didn't want it to end. Right. And, um, you know, it was ambitious to think that we told the whole Bible in just 10 hours in the series. And what AD has allowed us to do is to take a deeper dive into the New Testament and to bring this amazing segment of the story filled with courage and turmoil um, to life on NBC. There's a lot going on in the world, you know, and I think um, hope is so important, you know. And as a family, you know, we only make family-friendly programming. All of our game shows, our non-fiction shows, the Bible, AD, and try to provide some hope to people. Of course, it has to be fantastic characters, a fantastic narrative. You know, you could take AD, change the clothing, and a lot of the political maneuvering would look like House of Cards. Nothing's, sadly, very little has changed in terms of leadership and politics. But there's something for everybody in AD, but it does, at its core, offer hope. Well, madly complicated to bring it all together. Working on the Bible and on AD uh, is huge responsibility bringing scripture to the screen. And so to that end, we work with theologians and scholars uh, to make sure that when we um, quoted scripture that we did so accurately. But we were also pulling from the history of the times, the writings of Josephus and others to create a political and historic context into which we could weave this story. Um, it made the process uh, a little bit longer than normal because each draft of the script would go out, would get filtered through and would come back and we would make adjustments and we would send it out again. Um, so it's, it certainly was laborious, but I think um, absolutely an integral part of what we were doing so that we could tell this story authentically, that we could satisfy across denominations, that we could make it as exciting and compelling and surprising to satisfy the needs of, a, of an audience that are expecting that cinematic experience, but from the comfort of their own living room. Thoughtfully and you know, prayerfully and uh, a great team. And we attracted fantastic actors in like Joanne Wally, um, who's playing uh, Claudia, Jodie May, who's playing Leah Carves' wife, Richard Coyle, um, Vincent Regan, uh, Greta Sachi. You know, so we, we have a, a really, really good cast. And um, again, we made the entire production out of our UK division. Uh, including, uh, we shot in Morocco, but we, everything's cast and edited uh, in London. And we again have Hans Zimmer and Lorne Bell for the score, and Lola, fantastic special effects house, who they worked on Gladiator and Clash of the Titans, did special effects for us. Yeah, and we, we, we really did gather an amazing cast. And I think that perhaps the success of the Bible series before, it put us, um, in good stead with actors. I think they had seen the series, they knew it had done well, and so there were a lot of actors, a lot of agents who had submitted their actors um, for the roles. And, um, you know, we were casting some pretty iconic characters. Um, the role of Jesus being played by um, Juan Pablo de Pache. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to find an actor that, that could bring strength and leadership and had charisma, and at the same time, had a tenderness and a gentleness of spirit. And, um, and I think that he beautifully portrays um, Jesus in AD. Um, we also wanted to cast uh, with racial diversity so that the cast would reflect the world that we live in and that an audience could turn their television sets on and see themselves in the story. Remembering that these characters didn't know they were in the Bible um, they didn't know the outcome. They were just real people living real lives. And, and it was our job to make the, the story as um, relatable and to, to create the humanity in these characters. 
Well, I certainly think that, um, you know, there's a moment where, where you can absorb the material, you know, there's a lot of source material, of course, for these stories. There's a moment, I think, as actors where then they have to put that aside and to, to play it in a way that they would any other role. Otherwise, I think you just become so incredibly self-conscious. But there were um, beautiful moments of seeing actors sitting around reading uh, scripture because it is such an incredible source book. And, and as a performer, you don't often get a chance to go in and read the backstory of the role that you're playing.